Today we're going to do uh, some re-entry on Jewel without a heat shield, testing the re-entry for um, Kerbal Space Program 1.0. So this took more than a few quick saves, uh, like a lot more than a few quick saves, and there turns out there's a very, very, very narrow band where you can actually arrow break on Jewel without a heat shield. Um, it's right in between 175 and 185,000 meters from the, quote, surface of Jewel. Uh, anything above 185 you can use to arrow break into the system, uh, but above 200,000 meters doesn't work, so there's no real atmosphere above there. So, yeah, Jewel is really, really hard to do this on, and as you'll see, I... Uh, had to do some strategic flying to keep everything from overheating. The failure temperature we're looking for is about 2,500 degrees. Uh, so let's keep an eye on it. You can see I've got the temperature displays, those are in the debug menu. You can hit those on uh, Alt F12 and then I think it's under Physics and Thermal. Uh, you can also do an overlay to see heat, but I think that one looks pretty ugly. So as you can see, we're coming in very, very quickly, burning off a lot of speed. Uh, I think we started out at about 10,000 meters a second and we're going to go all the way down to pretty much zero. Hopefully anyway. Our first engine has started its overheating process, and this doesn't look too good. I'm going to try and spin it around, and I don't know, maybe there's less air density somewhere. I'm just trying to find a way to cool this thing off. It's strange that it's only happening to one engine. I noticed that on my Eve re-entry as well. Uh, oh, oh, wait, okay, nose cone, just a nose cone, we're okay, yep, nose cone. Yeah, so I noticed this on my Eve re-entry as well, uh, one of the engines, even though they're placed with symmetry, gets substantially hotter than the other one, uh, I don't know how the aerodynamic model is working there. Alright, so we're really getting close to the physical... Oh. Yeah. Alright, so if we turn it into the airstream, it looks like we can kind of drop our temperature a little bit. That doesn't really make sense to me, but th hey, that's why we're here. We're testing. Now you'll notice if you've been watching the vertical speed that our speed was actually in the positive for a while. Uh, that's because we're skipping off the atmosphere. Uh, we came in at such a shallow angle we're actually bouncing up and down, which is helping to control a lot of the heat.
we've got well over half our velocity killed already, and we'll see if we can get the rest of the way. So it looks like I've found a position where both of the engines are getting equal amounts of heat and kind of reached some sort of equilibrium at least. They're not uh, both on the brink of disaster. Looks like we've made it through the roughest part of the atmosphere here, uh, 2,000 meters per second sounds like a whole lot, but compared to what we came in at, I'd say that's pretty much a successful re-entry right there. I could uh, show you all the way down as far as I went and deployed the parachutes to prove that I did it, so we're going to go ahead and put the rest of this video on fast forward, and I'm going to give my little spiel. If you guys want to check out some more Kerbal Space Program videos, check out my channel, subscribe if you want more, I'll be putting out all sorts of fun tests and things like that, um, and maybe I'll do a hard mode playthrough or something. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching.